Welcome to another QuickBooks Training Moment with Steiner Business Solutions. My name is Doug and today we are going to learn about memorized transactions in QuickBooks. Uh, memorized transactions are useful when you have certain transactions like bills or invoices or even payments that reoccur on a regular basis and you want QuickBooks to either remind you to do them on that regular basis or even automatically post them for you if you want. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create an invoice that would reoccur on a regular basis. We'll choose a customer here um, and we'll choose a service that would occur on a regular basis. So we'll say pest control. They're going to charge their customer Natalie Chapman $100 a month. So the, the idea is here is that this invoice needs to be created every month because this is something we bill the client every month, the same amount. Created the invoice, we're done. Now we can hit memorize up here at the top. And every transaction that you memorize, you have to give it a name. So it'll kind of default a name there for you, but you can change it to whatever you like. So we'll just say this is the Natalie Chapman invoice. Then your first option here is to add it to your reminders list. Um, so we'll say this one's going to happen monthly on 12-15. So the middle of every month. Uh, we're going to get a reminder. When we open QuickBooks for the first time on December 15th, a, remi a reminder is going to pop up and say, hey, do you want to post this invoice? And then it'll pop up again on January 15th. Another option is to say, do not remind me. Um, that way there's no reminder. You're just memorizing this transaction um, and keeping it out there. This is good when you have a complicated transaction, like maybe an invoice with many, many line items and you don't want you know you're going to use it again but it's not on a regular basis so you just want that invoice out there created so that you can pull it up anytime you want to and change the name and the date and then post it again another option is the automated uh, transaction entry um, this case you choose let's say monthly on the 15th of every month you're not even going to get a reminder from QuickBooks QuickBooks is just going to go ahead and post a copy of this invoice 15th of every month. You can say how many days or how many times remaining you do this. So you can say 12 if you want to do it for the next year. Um, you can even have it be advanced or entered in an advanced basis if you want to. And finally you can add it to a group. Sometimes you might want to create a group of memorized transactions like a monthly maintenance group would be appropriate for this transaction because it's something we're going to, it's this pest control maintenance that we're doing on a regular basis. So we'll add this to the group everything in this group will um, adhere to the group's uh, characteristics which we'll look at later. So we're going to add it to the monthly maintenance group. We're going to hit OK and we can hit save and close which will actually save this invoice. Now if we want to look at our memorized transactions we go up here to lists and memorize transactions. <clears throat> this is a list of all the transactions that we've memorized and here is the transaction we just created, the Natalie Chapman invoice. You can see it's under the monthly maintenance group. Now if we right click monthly maintenance group, we can go into edit memorize transactions and you can see the characteristics of that group. So everything in this group is going to get a reminder that pops up monthly on the 31st of the month. Everything that's within that group. All of these transactions up here are individual. They're not part of any kind of group. You can see we've got customer invoices, credit card charges, bills, write checks, all these different kinds of transactions can be uh, memorized. Over here you can see the frequency of those transactions. So these particular ones are to reoccur never, which means they're just out here, um, which means that anytime you can go to this list, double click it, open it, and actually post that transaction again or change the customer name and repost it if you want. Um, you see this transaction is going to happen weekly. Um, which means that we're going to get a reminder from QuickBooks every week. Do you want to post this particular credit card charge? Again, you can always open it and change the amount or the date or something if you want to. This this transaction here is a bill from Baywash, uh, Bayshore Water, um, and it's to reoccur monthly. And this has been marked as auto pay, so or automatic posting. So. Every month, we're not even going to get a reminder from QuickBooks about this. It's just going to automatically post. So these are the different types of transactions. This is how you set them up. You can go down here, select a particular transaction. You can edit it. You can delete it. You can create a new group from this menu here as well. Um, but this is how you create and maintain um, memorized transactions. They can be really helpful for 
things that reoccur on a regular basis. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Take care.